Alright, just a quick video further proving that Steven Anderson's new IFB is indeed a cult. Here's actually a clip I'm going to show from a new IFB, I guess, preacher, you know, little preacher guy, you know, one of the, uh, Steven Anderson's little puppet pastors, essentially saying that the new IFB are the only good churches and saying you should move to California to go to one of our churches, you know. So essentially the new IFB, they think they're the only good ones. Here's a clip for yourself. The gates of hell will not prevail as long as we do it this way. So that is, like, the church is everything. There's three good churches in California. You say only three, there's thousands of churches. There's thousands of churches everywhere. 99% of them are garbage. Look, no other church can, stay, can say that. No other state, I'm sorry, can say that. Can say that there's three good churches. Well, maybe Texas. I don't really have anything bad to say about Texas. We lived in Texas for nine years. But look, the point is, if you do move to California, it should be to one of those three churches that are already there. None, and, and here's the thing, if you're in a good church, none of the problems that we're going to talk about that exist here will matter because you're in a good church. And you'll have a great church family, and you will be insulated from it because Jesus says that the gates of hell, what's going on out in the world, will not prevail against his church. So the key is the church. And not only, you know, so you should move to California, but to a good church. In this seems to be the common theme with little Pope Stevie Boy Wonder Anderson over there in Tempe, Arizona, and all of his little puppet pastors around North America, is the fact that they claim they want to have unity. They claim that, oh, we're just trying to restore the IFB movement. But in all reality, they're just a subversive sect who has very little in common with traditional Baptists. And also the fact that not only are they trying to infiltrate other Baptist churches to try to convert them to Anderson's heresies or steal a sheep and send them to Phoenix, Arizona, they pretty much think they're the only good ones. See, that's how the cult mentality works, is they barrage you. And I've been listening to their sermons back when I was part of the group in 2017 to 2019, and they'll barrage you with essentially everybody else's week of preaching and they're pretty much the only good ones, and they get you thinking that the new IFB are the only churches who actually stand for any kind of biblical truth, and all the other Baptist churches are just dead and lame, which is not true at all. But that's how the cult operates. So essentially, if you leave the group, you've now left the truth of God, pretty much. That's how a cult, you can look at the bite model, Stephen Hassan's bite model for authoritarian cults. The new IFB ticks a lot of the boxes of characteristics of a cult. And this is just one of them, getting you thinking that they're the only place of truth in all the Baptist movement. So more proof that Stephen Anderson's new IFB is indeed a cult. Don't be deceived by this group. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.